and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. Be good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you're today. Hope you're feeling grand and always well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome to the A and Q Wednesday, everybody. Let's get to question one, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so question one today is: uh, You used to love your vintage Les Paul and was your go-to guitar for some uh, for some time. I'm intrigued why you never mention it anymore. So uh, the vintage Lemon Drop. Uh, is what you're talking to there, about there, isn't it? Um, so the vintage V100 Peter Green, I stopped using it mainly because, uh, well, there's there's many reasons. To be honest. It's not just one reason why I stopped using the Lemon Drop. There's quite a few different reasons why I didn't I don't use it anymore. Uh, one, the biggest reason is I prefer the Revelation RTL 59 over it. Uh, the RTL 59 is basically all the Les Paul I've ever wanted. Um, it's just, it just sounds, the the most that, that I want out of a Les Paul is in the RTL. The, the, the way the RTL feels, the way it sounds, the way, it's not ridiculously heavy. The, the neck, the way it plays, the way it sings. The RTL is just my perfect Les Paul. Um, I like the fact that the dials are reversed as well on the RTL. They're not the normal way around like they are on, a, on the on the on the vintage. But another reason I stopped using the vintage is simply because I had gone out and I had tried some of the new uh, new new vintage V100 Peter Green models of the same guitar. I tried the newer ones, and it's the reason I've kind of stopped using vintage altogether. Really, is I'm just not. I'm just not as impressed with them anymore as I used to be. You know, I don't think the guitars they're making now are as good as the guitars they used to make. Granted, I am probably... I'm only going by the ones I've played. I can imagine there is still good vintage guitars. But the ones I've tried in recent years have just not impressed me. There's been quality control issues, sound problems, build quality. They're just not the same. And the vintage V100 lemon drops I've tried in recent years are nowhere near the level of quality that mine is. So one of the reasons I stopped using it more than anything, because I used it on the Dave Simpson Trio album. I used it on the album free. I used it for the Green Blues. It had to be used on that album. Uh, and it had to be used to that song. It's inspired by Peter Green. Much in the same way the other one is, but I wanted to get the RTL in there as well. But... One of my main reasons, I'm just not impressed with vintage as much as I used to be. I don't, I think their quality control has slipped. I don't think they're building guitars as good as they used to, personally. Um, granted, I can imagine, there, like I said, there is probably still amazing ones out there. But for me, I don't want to be pushing my vintage uh, uh, V100 as a go-to guitar if the ones that are coming out now are nothing like it. It just seems pointless and I don't want to mislead people which is basically what I feel that would do. So uh, that's why I don't use it as much anymore. That's why, in all fairness, I don't really play it at all. It, it's still one of my, That guitar will never leave me. I will never sell that guitar. I will never, ever part with that guitar. But just because of the way vintage are now, with their quality control slipping, and you know, from what I've experienced personally with their guitars and the lemon drops I've tried in recent years, I don't want anything to do with dragging people down the line of getting one and then they're going this isn't this isn't a good guitar um so i, I it's just basically just i just don't like it i just don't like the way they that the vintages feel these days i think they're very very lax and again they're just not what they used to be um uh i just i just don't know what it is i don't know i don't understand the the deal of that i really don't get it because when I used to use the lemon drop. Yeah, the, the lemon drop when I got it was just insanely good. I mean, my lemon drop. I stand by my lemon drop still, and the v, the old V6 icons and and the V I used to have, and uh, some other vintage guitars that I used to have were just amazing. And some of the ones I used to try were amazing, but I've just been so disappointed with the ones I've tried recently. They're not as good as they used to be to me. They're just they're just not. That and also like I say the RTL59 by Revelation is just a better guitar in my opinion uh it, it just has more of that vintage les paul tone and feel whereas the rtl is a bit uh, sorry the lemon drop is a darker les paul with it just doesn't have as good sound i don't think uh you know you know the wilkinson pickups in the in the uh 
V100 are great, but the Entwistle pickups in the the, uh, the the RTL does sound better to me. They just have more brightness, they have more clarity, they have a bit more of that mu that Les Paul mid-range squawk that I really like. You know, Telecaster on steroids sound. Whereas I find the Vintage V100 a, a bit darker guitar. I did do a shootout at some point in, in the past between the two. And uh, to me, the, the Revelation does beat it uh, in tone-wise. And also in, in the way it feels as well. The, the Revelation's got a bit of a, a more of a vintage-style Gibson neck, whereas the, the V100's a skinnier, more modern neck. And, I, and as much as I love that, I prefer the feel of the uh, the bigger, more vintage 59-esque kind of neck. Um, in all fairness, the, the, as much as this is, I know I know a lot of people are going to call me call me out on this one, saying it's nonsense. But to me, the vintage, um, the, RT, the the Revelation RTL fifty nine was ridiculously close to the Les Paul no, the fifty nine Les Paul known as Spot. Uh, the way it sounded, the way it felt, it sat, it, it felt and sounded really close. It really did. I'd love to do a comparison between them two. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But I would love to do a comparison between the the, the a 59 Les Paul and um, the Revelation and the, the V100, to be honest with you. But again, that's not really going to happen because, you know, 59 Les Pauls tend to be a little bit expensive and uh, are in the hands of certain people. And they don't really want to give them to up very, very easily. I can understand why. Anyway, but yeah, that's the reason I stopped using the, the, the Vintage. Again, it does fell out of favour. It just wasn't as good as the RTL to me. Uh, and also the, uh, the lemon drops I've tried in recent years just haven't been up to scratch to me and I don't want to mislead people and send people down the wrong line if my experience is bad you know if, if that makes any sense like you know because and a lot of people have said it as well saying they bought a V100 Peter Green I've, I've had a couple of emails and it makes me feel really bad people have gone out and bought lemon drops and they haven't been very good and they were just like saying like you know basically holding me accountable for that some people were you know not not everybody but i've had a few where people were saying well i bought this guitar on your recommendation and it's really bad thanks a lot you know and that makes me feel really crappy and i don't like that feeling so this that's another reason why i stopped just basically kind of using it uh like i said the main reason is the rtl is just better to me i just prefer the rtl hands down um it just feels better sounds better just you know is better for me as as les paul's go but um, but yeah, like but I say, like I say, you know, I do have a lot of history with the with the uh, the V one hundred Peter Green vintage, the Lemon Drop, and because of that, I will never sell that guitar. I will never part with that guitar. You know, I may not play it a great deal anymore, uh, but I will never ever get rid of it. It will always be with me, uh, even if I don't play it. It'll always have that in my collection. I just, I just, don't, I have had so much history with it. But I can't. I can't lose it. I really can't. It is really special. It's a really special guitar to me. It really is. Anyway, but I hope I made sense. Anyway, I really do. I hope I made sense. And I'm going to move on to question two now. So, uh, question two and the final question of Q and A Wednesday. We will pick it up tomorrow in A and Q Thursday. So, um, final question today is. Uh, my question is: uh, Do you have a do you have favorite YouTube guitarists, and are there any channels that you'd recommend me subscribing to? Is there anything you have learned from YouTube that you couldn't have learned elsewhere? Uh, I've learned a lot from YouTube, yeah. Uh, you know, I've learned a lot from, you know, watching all sorts of players, you know. Um, YouTube, my favourite YouTube guitarists, well, like I say, there's 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 three that got me into doing YouTube, and that's Phil X, Rob Chapman, and Lee Anderton. Those three guys are the, the, the three guys that made me go, I want to do this. You know, I, watching Lee and Rob on the on on Rob's channel at the time, and then the Anderton's channel now, I just I, I just warmed. I just liked them, and obviously Phil X with the Fred Americana stuff, I just loved it. And then later on down the line, I got uh, to watch guitarists like Pete Thorne. Pete Thorne is one of my favourite guitarists ever. I just love that man. I love his playing. I love his sense of tone. I love the way he is. He's one of those guitarists that I want to meet and I want to play with. Yeah, he's one of those like I just I I have to jam with this man. Um, but he's definitely one of my favourite YouTube guitarists. Um, he just he just is. Uh, Crimson Guitars. That is a channel I would always recommend people to go subscribe to. You know, like I say, there's Rob. Uh, you know, Phil doesn't really upload much, to be honest with you. Phil X doesn't really upload much. There's not much. But what he does on his, on his channel is really cool. I like yeah, every now and again going back and watching his old videos and Fred Americana videos as well. I like going back and watching them. 
Uh, obviously, Anderton's, uh, Pete Fawn, Crimson Guitars, the man's a genius. Ben Crow is an absolute genius. I adore watching him build guitars and watching him talk, what, listening to him talk, and I love his sense of humour and stuff like that. Um, who else is there that I like to watch? Uh, I mean, they're, they're kind of my, my top kind of guitar channels, if you will. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any others. I don't, I don't want to miss any out. So I say I love the Andertons channel. Uh, I always have, you know, like say Lee, uh, Rob, obviously Rob Chapman. I, you know, I, I love, I, I, I love what he does. I love, I've always loved uh, his the way he is. You know, I, I love, I love his, I love his playing as well. Um, obviously Pete Fawn, like I say, he is one of my favorite YouTube guitarists as well. He wasn't one of the ones who made me start doing YouTube, but very early on I found him through. I think it was just a recommendation actually. And I found Pete, and I was just like, oh my god, this man. His sound, his playing, oh. And then I found out he played with Chris Cornell and stuff like that. It's just like, oh my god. You know, I love Pete Fawn. He's really cool. Uh, guitarologist, Brad, the guitarologist, um, who fixes... I love his videos. That's another channel I'd always recommend as well, Brad, the guitarologist. That's really hard to say. Uh, really love his channel. Really love his channel. He's a cool guy as well. I really like him. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm sure I've missed some, but I, I, I forget off, you know, when it, on on the spot. But I really, I really love Brad's guitar playing as well. I, mean, I know he doesn't, you know. I think he's an amazing guitarist, ridiculously clean, and I love the fact he plays with his uh, fingers as well. It's like a, he's got a really cool sound, and I love his tone as well. He gets, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, you know, he's, he's another guy I'd like to meet. Yeah, you know, I'd love to talk. I'd love to pick his brains because the man's a genius. Like, it's just ridiculous amounts. Um, another channel I'd recommend subscribing to is the Metalhead Hippie Show. Uh, I owe that man a lot because he constantly plays my music on his uh, online radio show, and I'm just so grateful to him. Uh, and he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. And I, and I like the fact that he specialises in unsigned artists and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. So that's the Metalhead Hippie Show. Uh, but, yeah... Um, and he plays some great music. He just f he goes around YouTube in these little nooks and crannies of YouTube's and finds these people. It's so cool, and I, I love the fact he 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 promotes that that kind of stuff. It's really really awesome. Um, but like I say, I mean, I've got I've got quite a few. But I mean, some of those channels I've recommended there. But like I say, it's just really cool. It's really cool. I mean, I I, I love it. I really do. But um. But yeah, like, is there anything? Uh, yeah, so that, that channel's the YouTube guitarist. Uh, is there uh, anything YouTube toy that you couldn't have worked learned elsewhere? Uh, most possibly, you know, I, I, I don't doubt it. I mean, I try not to get kind of too down the YouTube rabbit hole of thingies because I can I can feel I can get kind of like uh, led the wrong way by certain YouTube channels, and I don't watch I don't watch a great deal of YouTube guitarists. Uh, the ones that I've mentioned are basically that's it. Um, because I, I just don't, some just don't connect. You know, some just don't connect. That and you know, that's the way that works. That's fine as well. So, but um, you know, you, you, you'll you'll get that. You know, things just don't work sometimes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I have learned so much about guitar maintenance from people like Ben Craft, Crimson Guitars. That, like I say, that man just knows to me. I, I just I I learned so much from that, and um, I just love watching him build things and talking about, you know, fret dressing and, and, and talking about different tools and stuff like that. You know, I'm one of those people who watches his videos on gouges when he talks about gouges for about an hour. I, I'm the one who loves watching those videos because uh, it's just fascinating to me. I just, I, I am, you know, I'm obsessed with kind of how he builds and watching him build. Watch, you know, making a guitar from nothing. Same with Nick, uh, Nick Oswald, who builds, you know, the Oswald guitars that I adore and love and I love that man as well. Um, his channel's really cool. I love that because he's got videos on there of him building my first ever Oswald, which is really, really cool. I love watching those videos, watching my guitar come alive from just a block of wood to my guitar. It's just insane and it's just amazing. But yeah, I've learned a lot from Ben. I've learned a lot from Pete Fawn, learned a lot from Rob Chapman, Lee Anderton. Uh, you know, I've learned, I've learned Phil X, you know, I've, all these guitarists I've just mentioned, I've learned a lot from them. You know, and it's still crazy that, to me, that I've been on the end. That, that still doesn't feel real. Uh, and also the fact of, like, you know, I get to talk to Rob and Lee. And it's just the weirdest thing in the world. You know, I haven't got to speak to Pete yet, or Phil. <laughs> um, but I would like, I would love, I'd love to speak to Pete Ford. I'd love to speak to Phil X. I'd, I'd love to play with them. 
you know, and I'd, I'd love to meet like people like you know that Ben Crow and people like that, and Brad the guitarist and people like that. These people like yeah, you know, they're really cool, and you know, they make me happy to be on this platform with them. You know, it's a it's a very big honor to be on the same platform as them. So yeah, so but yeah, I have learned a lot from Crimson Guitars channel, like from all sorts. You know, there's there's certain things where I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um, the uh, Norman Norman's rare guitars, Michael Lemo. That man is a mind blowing guitarist. He is literally one of the coolest guitarists like I've ever seen. He's so cool. I like the way he bends things as well. You know, it, things are not things are never the way they seem with him, and I like that. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, like I say, but there is there is a lot of things I've learned. I shouldn't be sat on a spinny chair because I just wanted to spin around like some kind of Bond villain. Good evening, Mr. Bond. I've been expecting you. My chair has gone haywire. Hello. My God, I've got lost my mind. But yeah, there are a lot of, there's quite a few YouTube guitarists I really, really like. Again, I don't watch a great deal of them. Like I say, some of them don't click, you know, uh, for one reason or another, you know, whatever it is. It doesn't really, that, it makes no, that's not even here nor there. It's just personal preference. But um, but the ones I've mentioned, yeah, I really like them and I really love their channels and I really love what they do and, and the, the way they do it. It's really cool. And again, you know, channels like Crimson Guitars, I cannot recommend them enough for guitarists to watch them and watch Ben build guitars and talk about how to, how he sets up guitars, how he does frets, how he does this, how he does that. The man's an absolute genius and there is, it's just a, a vast wealth of knowledge that, that man has and it's just so worth a watch. It's amazing. So, uh, so yeah, those ones really, more than anything. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, so I hope that's a question. Um, yeah, hope that's both your questions okay today and I will see you again tomorrow for another question and answer Thursday. Well, technically the second ever. Cool, well, maybe. Uh, kind of in this run of things. Anyway, uh, if you want to submit a question for A&Q Wednesday, people with tube, description box below, there is an email link, email me there. Uh, other than that, I will see you again tomorrow for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening and goodbye now. Thank you much indeed.